Hello and welcome to my presentation, Derivative Trading, the True Wall Street Casino. Today we will be talking about trading options on the stock market and the wild swings of profit and loss associated with this type of trading. Today we will learn a basic understanding of this not so well known style of trading called options trading. Trading options on the stock market provides a high amount of risk but equally high rewards. Have you ever considered how some individuals have made large amounts of money on the stock market in a short period of time. While some of the trading involved may just be stocks, trading options is often involved as well. Individuals describing large profits in a short period of time can leverage larger gains because of the advantages options can give them. Over the course of three and a half years, I've been gaining valuable information and experience, and I've been trading on the stock market for three years and trading options for two of those. Trading derivatives requires not only experience in stock market trading, but understanding how options work. There are countless articles of individuals who have lost thousands using this method of trading. If someone wants to try out trading derivatives, they need to gain experience along with researching profitable methods. I wanted to share my experience and some basic information on options trading. Today we will talk about three main points. We will talk about options trading. We will talk about risk involved, and we will talk about how you can get started trading on the stock market. So let's begin with what is options trading. Options trading is trading financial derivatives that correlate to the current prices of a securities price. When trading options, you are trading contracts that increase or decrease in price directly related to a stock's price. Options trading is complex in the way that the contracts are priced based on, quote, the Greeks, end quote, which is, quote, the Greeks is a term used in stock options market to describe the different dimensions of risk involved in an options position, either in a particular option or portfolio or options, end quote. The basic contract you can purchase is a call or a put. A call in simpler terms means that you expect the price of a stock to increase or you are bullish on an increase in price of the security. A put in simpler terms means that you are expecting the price of an underlying stock to de excuse me, decrease or you are bearish on a decrease in the price of the security. These contracts vary daily in price because of the rise and decline of the security on the market for the day. Now that we have talked about options trading, let's talk about the risks of trading options. Options trading comes with very high risk that complement the high reward that you can receive from trading them. Quote, first and foremost, options often expire worthless, resulting in a total loss of whatever the buyer paid for the option, end quote. These risks mean that very few investors will consider to touch them. However, online communities such as Reddit show that people will risk thousands of dollars on a hunch about a stock in the direction of its price. These communities spread further, even further beyond Reddit, as there are countless online forums that have live posts from users about what their next moves will be based upon speculation. While these risk takers may make daily posts about the next option they will trade, this type of trading is readily available to those who seek it. Now that we have talked about what is options trading and the risks of trading options, let's talk about how you can get started trading on the stock market. To get started trading on the stock market, you're going to need some documents and information about yourself. Quote, you must provide your social security number so earnings can be reported to the Internal Revenue Service. You also need a valid government issued ID such as a driver's license or passport because brokers typically provide investing advice. They need to know your employment situation, income, net worth, and investment goals. End quote. These basic documents are required by the government for taxing purposes and to discourage illegal activity. Quote, in addition, under the USA Patriot Act of 2001, financial institutions may use your social security number to verify your identity when opening brokerage accounts in order to help prevent money laundering and terrorist financing, end quote. While you gather this information, you will want to find a broker with low commissions on trades, and if you don't have a lot to deposit, there are brokers that have no minimums to open an account. Robinhood is a broker that allows stock and derivative trading, along with other complicated forms of trading. Robinhood doesn't require a minimum balance and offers no fees when you trade. While Robinhood is great for beginners, other brokerages such as TD Ameritrade and Fidelity 
will offer more features should you want more in-depth analysis for your trading. Now that we've explored options trading, let's recap the main points. We have talked about three main points. We have talked about options trading, we have talked about risk involved, and we have talked about how you can start trading on the stock market. Trading options on the stock market has high risk but equally high rewards. Trading options on the stock market is very risky, and any information you have learned here today is just the tip of an iceberg. I am not a financial consultant, so please research further before you dive into this risky part of trading. Hopefully you've learned something today that can further your interest into investing in the stock market. Thank you for your time and good luck trading.